Hello, students. Today, we have to work the student's book on page number 62. We are going to talk about Mexico, okay? We are going to talk about Mexico. Mexico is a popular country in North America. First, we have four pictures. Look at the picture, okay? Number one. Picture number two, picture number three, and picture number four. Okay, in picture number one, we have famous side silver smiths. Okay, in picture number two, this is the floating gardens. In picture number three, we have the cathedral. And in picture number four, we have the pyramids of the sun. And please underline the word silver smiths. Okay, you have to underline. After that, underline floating two. Okay, underline cathedral. And finally, I want you to underline pyramid or pyramids, okay? Let's read. Tasco, famous for its silversmiths. Tasco is a place in Mexico. Tasco is famous for its silversmiths, okay? In number two, this is the floating gardens. This is the floating gardens in Mexico. In number three, we have the cathedral, okay? This is the cathedral. In number four, we have the pyramids of the sun and moon. Okay, so now you have to write the meaning of silver smith in Spanish, lateria. Okay, floating. Cathedral, Cathedral, and Pyramids, Pyramids. Okay, I'm going to repeat again. You have to underline silver smiths, floating, Cathedral, and Pyramids. After that, we have to read the text. Mexico City is on the side of an old Aztec city. It's very colorful and it has modern architecture. The hotels are very comfortable and lively, with very good restaurants and boutique. There are lots of places to visit, like the cathedral and the modern university. You can visit the floating gardens or the, the pyramids of the sun and moon. You can also go to Tasco, which is very famous for its silver smiths. As you can see, Mexico can offer tourists a wide variety of interesting places to visit. So now we have to underline some words. For example, city. Old, colorful, modern, comfortable, lively,
places. Famous. Interesting. You have to underline this word, these words. City, old, colorful, modern, comfortable, lively, places, famous, and interesting. Underline. Okay, after that, we continue on page number 63. Okay, we have to complete the conversation on page number 63. Read and complete the conversation with the sentences A, B, C, and D. Jennifer and Joseph are on vacation in Mexico. Jennifer is telephoning her mother in England. So now we have to complete that conversation about Jennifer and her mother, okay? We have letter A, B, C, D. We have to use, we have to use the sentences and complete, okay? Let's start. Jennifer, we are having a wonderful time, mother. What's the hotel like? Is it comfortable? Jennifer said. Yes, very comfortable and lively. The rooms are air conditioned with private bath and shower. Okay, lo que tenemos que hacer es copiar. Copiar la información. Number one. Vamos a Yes. Very comfortable. And lively. The rooms are The rooms are air conditioned with private bath and shower. That's it. Ok. Lo que acabamos de hacer fue copiar la información de abajo. Letter D. Yes, very comfortable and lively. The rooms are very conditioned with private bath and show. Ok. Estamos continuando la conversación. Mother. Is the weather good? Jennifer. Yes, mom. It's really hot and sunny. So we have to write. Yes, mom. It's very hot and sunny. This is the answer. Continue. Mother, is Mexico nice? Jennifer? It's marvelous. There are lots of places to visit, like the floating gardens and <clears throat> the pyramids of the sun and moon. Vamos a copiar la primera parte y tú lo continuas, okay? It's marvelous.
it's marbles. To continue con el texto, there are lots of places to visit. There are lots of places to visit. Okay, and you continue. It's marvelous. There are lots of places to visit, <clears throat> like the floating gardens and the pyramids of the sun and the moon. Mother, what are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, we are going to the cathedral. And then you continue. Tomorrow, we are going to the cathedral in the morning. And in the afternoon, we are going to shop. We are going shopping. Mother, oh, that sounds interesting, Jennifer. I will ring you back tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Mother, Jenny, take care and have a good time. Bye-bye. Finch. We we'll continue next at the Manu. This is a place. The Manu, it's a place. It's a place. Okay, listen. Read the text. The Manu is the largest wildlife park in the south of east of Peru. I'm gonna repeat. The Manu is the largest wildlife park in the south east of Peru. It's Madre de Dios and it has the greatest variety of fauna and flora. Lots of scientists and tourists from all over the world visit this enormous national park every year. It's a wonderful place to see animals in their natural habitat. I'm gonna repeat slowly. Listen the pronunciation of this, okay? The man is the largest wildlife park in the southeast of Peru. It's in Madre de Dios and it has the greatest variety of fauna and flora. Lots of scientists and tourists from all over the world visit this enormous national park every year. It's wonderful, it's a wonderful place to see animals and their natural habitat. Now, answer the question. Where is the Manu? It's in Madre de Dios. Why do people go there? Because it's wonderful. Because it's a wonderful place to see animals in their natural habitat. This is the answer. Where is the Manu? It's in Madre de Dios. Why do people go there? Because it's a wonderful place to see animals in their natural habitat. Now, match. Letter A, fauna. Letter B, <clears throat> enormous. Letter C, habitat. Letter D, flora. Okay, fauna, where an animal or plant usually lives, letter A. Enormous, very big.
Okay. Continue. Letter D. Plants. <clears throat> Okay, there is a mistake. Here is letter C and animal life, letter A. Okay. Mark the sentences that are true. True, but they you mustn't feed the animals. Check. Correct. You can walk around the park in group and with a guide, true. You must stay in the hotel. No, maybe. You can bring dogs and cats. No, impossible. Okay. <clears throat> Complete with must, mustn't, or can. You mustn't go out alone at night. Let it be. You must be at the rest camp before 5 p.m. on letter C. You can take your camera. Okay? So we finished for today. We have to stop here. We have to continue the next class. Okay? Bye-bye, students. See you the next class.